Oh hi, my name is Jessica Lyon, Project Manager of the Phoenix Firestorm Project, and welcome to the first in a series of quick tutorial videos we're going to call Tool Tip Tuesdays. The Firestorm Viewer is chock full of little hidden gem features and functions that many people don't even know exist. So this series is all about bringing these features to light. This first video is all about camera controls. Let's get started! This first tip ought to be a real favorite because a lot of people don't like the default position where your camera hovers over your head. And a lot of people don't know that your shift and control key in combination with your mouse scroll wheel are default camera position modifiers. Give it a try. Hold your shift key down and scroll your mouse wheel. And you'll see that it actually changes the default position of your camera. Also, using your control or command key on a Mac, do the same and you'll see it changes the angle but in a different way. This is really handy for shopping. And another feature a lot of people don't know is if you're facing your billboard, hold your shift key down and press your right or left arrow key and it walks your avatar sideways while keeping your camera facing the signs that you want to look at. Okay, now let's have a look at zooming. Let's say you're working on something that's really small and you need to zoom right in and you'll notice that if you get too close, it suddenly disappears. Well, this is a thing a lot of people may not know, but if you alt cam onto a particular item, holding your control key down and pressing zero a bunch of times magnifies your view by quite a bit. Control 9 resets it, and control 8 sends it in the opposite direction, which gives you a super wide angle view. Again, control 0 zooms in, control 8 zooms out, and control 9 resets your camera. Okay, now let's cover some of the camera controls. So I'll bring my camera back closer to my avatar. And uh, so we'll start with the default camera functions, uh, camera tool floater. So you click on avatar up here on the top left and you can get to it to their camera controls. Or uh, you can grab it over here. It's this icon on your buttons. And uh, so this uh, floater offers you uh, three default views. So there's um, where your camera follows behind you. And then there's this one where the camera sort of hovers over your shoulder, kind of like a parrot sort of a view. And finally, there's this one where the camera is actually facing you. You can also use these controls here to move up and down and left and right and this way as well. Um, finally, uh, this also has um, object view mode. So if you click on this, your mouse now everywhere you click uh, you're going to focus to. I don't use it that way, I prefer just to hold the alt key down when I when I camera around. And of course then there's mouse look view. For more advanced camera controls uh, you can use the camera tools which is part of the photo tool suite and you can get to that from world, photo and video, camera tools or control shift C or this icon over here and you open that up and this gives you a bunch of different options. Starting with, of course, the default up and down, left and right, and this way and that way and that way and this way, and that's the same as the uh, vanilla camera floaters uh, panel. But also, you get some other options. So let's talk quickly about some of the options. Um, you can have your camera reset after you teleport, so if you've got your camera here and you teleport somewhere, your camera will bounce back to your avatar. Uh, disable minimum camera zoom distance. This allows you to zoom in closer to things. Um, allow the camera to move without constraints. Let me explain, let me demonstrate what that is actually. So I'll just come up to here and with this disabled my camera will go behind the board or a wall and this it can be frustrating if you are walking around in somebody's house and your camera gets bounced around. Um, if you disable that though and you turn your camera you can see your camera actually gets pushed by the wall. And finally, uh, reset camera position on avatar movement. Um, so if I say I alt zoom on something here and start moving, without that checked my camera will remain focused on that. If I do check this though and then click to move, my camera will return to my avatar. And now here's a hidden gem that a lot of people don't know about, is this. Store current camera view and load stored camera view. Let me show you how that works. So let's say I'm focused on something over here 
This is just some freebie jewelry I think that I got years ago. And I'll just get a focus on there and then I'm going to click store current camera view. Click done. Now at any time and anywhere I am in the region, come back down here, I can click load to store camera view and my camera will magically return to that position. How cool is that? Now the last tip that I'm going to show you is probably the most important tip of all. How many times have you managed to get your camera all screwed up and you don't know what happened and you can't seem to reset it? And you have to contact support because you know you screwed something up and you don't know how to fix it? It's easy. Hold down your shift key, press your escape key, it resets all of your camera positions just like that. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from this Tooltip Tuesdays video. This was the first in a series of video tips we'll be posting every Tuesday and I hope to see you next week. Bye for now!